there's tons of stuff in here that you can do. Play around with it. I love it. It's just going to save so much time. Um, and the more you play around with it, the better you're going to be. <laughs> so I'm going to have x equals and my fraction button here. 5 over 2, and that's my final answer. I can get a shapes button here. I can circle it. And yeah, I will show you how to install this. Um, Chrome extension at the end of this video. Hey everyone! If your teacher assigns you a PDF in Google Classroom and you want to annotate it, just write all over it from right there, take a screenshot and turn it back in, this is the video for you. So we're going to start in Google Classroom and you're going to go to your assignment and hit View Assignment um, and this is what you're going to see here. So you're going to open the assignment, hit that download button. If you're on a Chromebook, you're going to go to your files because once you download it, it's going to download in your downloads <laughs> and you can get to that from your files. This is the list view, but if you click on this icon right here, you're going to see the gallery view so that you can see your download a little easier. So this is what you're going to see. And if you click on that markup tool at the top, you can just write all over that from here, depending on the version of Chrome that you have so I can write my important information and underline my problem, take a screenshot and turn it in from here. Now in order to take a screenshot, there's two different ways. You can take a screenshot of your entire screen and to do that you'll hit control and the switch window button located on the top middle of your keyboard or if you just want a snip of your screen, so just a small portion, you're going to hit the control and the shift with the switch window button. So the only difference is adding that shift button. After you finish, you're going to go back to your assignment and click on the create new, go to file, and then you are going to browse um, the file that you just took of your screenshot, and then click open. Then you're going to hit turn in, and once again turn in. And then once you see this button right here that says unsubmit, that's your key that you've turned in everything the right way. All right, for the second strategy, we're gonna be starting in our Google Chrome, so open a new browser. All right, so when your teacher assigns you an assignment, it's right here, and if you click on it, you can view the assignment itself. Go ahead and open the PDF. And then you can also view, it's going to be the directions to download the Kami extension. So this whole page I would review it, but right here at the very top, you're going to have the link so that you can download the Kami extension on your browser. So go to that link and it's going to take you to the Chrome Web Store. You're going to add the extension, click OK or um, and then you're going to go up to the top puzzle piece and you're just going to add the icon so you're going to make sure the blue pin is well the pin is blue and then that just means that you'll have the icon up at the top so go to the cami icon and it's going to open the app for you in student view so the first time you log in you're going to have to sign up and you just hit your sign up with google find your uh, student user uh, your email address and the first time you're going to have to allow the Kami app to access your um, Google Classroom and everything your email so just put your K-12 school you're a student and hit finish um, and then it'll have this little video you can watch the video or just continue um, but you're going to, once your um, teacher assigned you a, an assignment, it's automatically going to be in your Google Drive. So you're going to want to hit open with Google Drive. You have um, the option to open from your computer if you want to download it to your computer first. But I would just go to your drive. You won't have as many folders as this, but you're going to click on a math folder and then you'll find the assignment in that folder. So click on the assignment to open it and then you are all ready to annotate once it opens up. All of your toolbars are on the left hand side 
and you can draw on it, you can erase it, you can type, you can write an equation, and just play around with all of the tools that are on the left hand side. If you just hover over um, any of the tools, it'll tell you what that tool is used for. But go ahead and play around with it. And once you're done annotating, you're just going to come over here um, and turn it in. Okay, so you can print it, you can share, you can have the open file, you can download it, you can um, always take a screenshot. So sample assignment, it says not done because we haven't turned it in yet. So I'm just going to make sure that all of my things are there and I'm just going to hit turn in. Okay, authorize Google Drive. It's going to ask you for which account, so hit your school account. And then hit allow. Okay, so I just turned that in right there. It does take a little bit, and there's that unsubmit button. So remember, once we hit that unsubmit, it's turned in, but let's just double check. So here I'm at my student user under classwork. Okay, I'm at that sample assignment so I can view assignment. And there it is, it is submitted. All right guys, I hope you learned something new. This is an extension that I just have been playing with lately. I think it is amazing. I think just the connection alone that it does to Google Classroom just will save tons of time. So I hope this helped and I hope you guys learned, it, learned something new today. And as always, go out there and enjoy the rest of your day and do something great. Bye, guys.